All right, guys, 17 March 2022. Welcome back to the Crypto Cave, the Rocco Taco Mining Cave. Uh, my server room, my mining room where I run all my rigs and my grow tent. And I'm a little baby miner at 1.1 Giga Hash. Right now, mining completely on Ether Mine, uh, mining ETH Hash and getting paid in Ether, Ethereum. That's where I'm going to go for now. I just want to build up my Ethereum stack of coins. So anyway, enough about that crap. Today, Apple co-founder, you know who that is, reveals huge Bitcoin price prediction. I just wanted to jump through this article real quick because I have a lot of respect for this guy. This guy was not the front-facing office, the front-facing guy like Steve uh, Jobs was. He's the guy that did the stuff. It was uh, uh, Wozniak, right? So let's jump into it from the old Forbesy. Apple co-founder reviews reviews reveals huge Bitcoin price prediction and a start crypto warning as Ethereum, Binance, Ripple, Luna, Cardano, Solana, and Avalanche Ricochet. Okay. Uh, for reference, being 17 March 2022, we are at Bitcoin at almost 41,000 and Ethereum trailing behind at 2760. See a green mostly. Uh, the U.S. dollar, the stable coins usually kind of lag a little bit, red and green, because they match the fiat dollar. All right, enough of that. Um, so let's just jump through it, guys. All right. From Forbes, we got Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices have held their ground even as panic over a fresh China slump sent the Nasdaq in the bear market. Okay, good enough. The Bitcoin price is traded sideways. It has. Things have just been kind of hovering between 40 and 33,000. Uh, seeing, seeing more swings with uh, Ethereum, obviously, up and down. But it seems like, again, guys, I tell you, Bitcoin is the leader. Bitcoin is the king. Lots of altcoins out there. <coughs> you can buy what you want, but I think stick with the king, man. Stick with the Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum until it goes to POS. I don't know what's going to happen to Ethereum after it goes to POS. The fanboys like me and the miners are going to disappear and not support it anymore. It may just go down bigly, bigly, if that's a word. All right, let's go now. Legendary Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. He has said he expects the Bitcoin price to eventually hit $100,000, calling interest in crypto so high. There is a huge interest in crypto. People want to stack the coin. People are buying. You're seeing lots of uh, big uh, crypto whales come to the market. And um, they are putting the money on the exchange, the crypto on the exchanges, and they're not dumping it. It seems like they're accumulating from, uh, from what I've been hearing. And there's a way to track that. There's a wallets out there. You can track the exchanges and how much Bitcoin gets dumped onto the exchanges. Uh, I'll have to put a video out on that. It's pretty interesting. And you can kind of see what they're doing. It's like, whoa, okay, no one's dumping. It seems like they're accumulating and they're stacking. So there you go. All right, so he predicts $100,000, calling the interest in crypto so high. Yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. There's little Stevie right there smiling. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Wearing a respirator or something. Um, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak doesn't consider himself a Bitcoin investor, but he has made money from, oh no, dot, dot, dot. Oh, well. I think Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000, said Wozniak, speaking on the wild ride with uh, Steve O podcast last week. I just don't know where you're get where you get that feeling. I can't um, I can't put any mathematics to it. I just really feel it from all of the interest. The interest in crypto is so high. It is. It really is. Um, people are still mining. People are setting up these huge uh, crypto farms where you can actually go and buy the equipment. They will house it. They will um, maintain it. And you just own the equipment, which is good and bad because what if it breaks or what if they break it? Are you on the hook to fix it? You know, what if one of the guys there spills a Coke on your, your uh, ASIC Bitcoin miner machine? You know, yeah, that's, that's a whole another problem. Anyway, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices have rocketed higher over the last 18 months, soaring alongside global stock markets and commodity prices that have been buoyed by record low interest rates, well, they're going up today because of the Fed, 0.25%. Unprecedented stimulus measures put in place to offset the economic damage of lockdowns and the coronavirus pandemic. Oh my God, I hate those words. Anyway, let's go through it. The Bitcoin price 
climbed to almost 70,000 per Bitcoin late last year before crashing back with its market capitalization topping 1.2 trillion with a T up from just 200 billion two years ago. Pretty cool. Ethereum and its major rivals BNB, which is Binance, Solana, Cardano, and Avalanche have also seen huge price rises while payment coins Ripple, XRP, and Terra's Luna have surged too. Yeah, I still like just Bitcoin. Uh, the combined crypto market cap touched three trillion last year before collapsing just over half. Uh, that is as the floor fell out of Ethereum, BNB, Solana, blah blah blah, like Doge, and meme coins like Doge. Wozniak earlier, uh, what did he do? Wozniak earlier warned over the future of some smaller cryptocurrency that he thinks have a track record of being ripoffs, and called Bitcoin the only one that's pure gold mathematics. That's what I've been saying. So there's lots of altcoins out there. People on these, uh, you know, uh, Litecoin Larry and Bitcoin Bobby, or who are all these channels are out there. They're always pushing all these altcoin, altcoin season. I think the last I saw on altcoin season was 2017. Again, it was all following the rise of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the leader. Anyway, I like this statement. He has warned over the future of some smaller cryptocurrency that he thinks have a track record of being ripoffs. Again, meme coins. I'm not saying you can't make money off it if you time it, but then a lot of people get into it late. FOMO, and then they're left holding the bag like the Doji coin. It went up to what? 60.6, I can't remember, 60 cents. And now it's back down to 11 cents. And again, it had a nice run up. And if you were in the beginning at 5 cents, boom, and dumped it, you made a nice little profit. But if you didn't, you bought at 60 and now it's 11, you're holding the bag. So that's what I mean. These things are just crazy. I stay away from them as much as I can. Um, I don't know. I did just mine baby coins, so I got to watch that. That was That's kind of a meme stock. But I got like 700 baby coins. Woohoo. Uh, that was more speculation. Anyway, let's go through it. Again, he calls Bitcoin the only one that's pure gold mathematics. Yeah, you're not buying a coin. You're not buying a thing. You're buying the software, the mathematics behind Bitcoin. That is what is the interest in Bitcoin. It's kind of a thing of beauty. All right, there are uh, so many cryptocurrency that come out now. Everybody has a way to create a new one, and you have a celebrity star with it. It seems like they're just collecting a bunch of money from people who want to invest at the very earliest stage, exactly, when it's worth pennies. Yeah, everyone's trying, everyone's trying to recreate the uh, magic of Bitcoin. They're trying to recreate it and get in on that. Uh, one thing I told Insider last week in an interview suggesting people often buy the coins simply because they're blinded by the potential windfalls. Then they're just fold. Then they just fold, right? I thought it, I thought it was fold, F-O-L-E-D. Then they just fold. Yeah, you get in these altcoins and uh, 2017, 2016, and then 2018, these, some of these coins just disappear. They're off the exchanges, and some exchanges disappear. You're like, where'd my money go? It's gone out in the ether. Somebody's got it, though. Somebody's got it, but not me. Yeah, you got to watch these things, man. Just invest in the big boy. All right, alongside huge Bitcoin and crypto gold rush this uh, past 18 months, world-famous celebrities from Paris Hilton to uh, Kimmy, Kimmy K to uh, Matty Damon have lent their names to uh, niche coins and crypto exchanges suddenly flush with cash. Uh, yeah, in October, Wozniak talked up Bitcoin's mathematical purity during an interview with uh, Yahoo Finance. Bitcoin isn't run by some company. It's just mathematically pure. And I believe nature over humans always. Yeah. Again, like he says, you got these, these uh, celebrities which people kind of think are interesting, shilling these meme coins. And then you dump your money into it, and then these coins disappear, and you lost your money. And, you know, the celebrities, guess what? They made money because they got paid up front with their contract. They got paid in fiat, not in that uh, meme coin. Yeah, you got to watch that crap. Uh, yeah, don't fall for the hype and that. These doji coins, these meme coins, even the baby coin I mind. I just did it for fun for a day and got 600 baby coins stacked. You just got to watch it, man. I'm just, I'm now all Bitcoin. Yeah. And I'm, I'll even mine, after I'm done with the Ether mine, I may switch back to two miners. I'll mine Ethereum, but I want to get paid out in Bitcoin. I've done that for the past month before switching back to Ether mine. It's just great. You hit a, you hit your threshold, boom, the Bitcoin gets dumped to your wallet. 
And then with um, I go to BlockFi, and BlockFi gives me a free withdrawal each month, and I dump that down to my hard wallet, and I don't lose anything on exchanges, you know, on uh, transaction fees. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I'm just mining right now Ethermine, uh, getting Ethereum, because I want to get a certain level of Ethereum, and then boom, switch back over to Bitcoin. Oh, this is old. We're at 40000 right now. Yeah, ooh, 41, baby. You saw it flip right there. You saw it flip right there. All right. So there we go. Whoa, what is this crap? That's a fake ad. Uh, that's one of these uh, ads you click on Brave and you get paid in uh, basic attention token uh, when you click on an ad in the Brave browser. All right. Wozniak's Bitcoin price prediction echoes that of uh, Scaramucci. Yeah, that guy's kind of eh. Uh, let's see. He expects Bitcoin price will soar to 100,000 within two years, ultimately climbing to 500,000. I think Bitcoin will have 100 million plus wallets and it could be an inflation hedge, uh, but that's a good five to eight years away. How do you even know that, dude? The founder and hedge fund, Skybridge Capital, uh, told the uh, Magnify Media, adding, it would be a mistake to be under invested or not invested in cryptocurrency. All right. That's just one guy. You got to be careful with this guy. Spidey sense tingles around him and whatever he says. Yeah, I don't know. Even that shark guy, um, I forgot his name, O'Leary. I kind of spidey sense tingles around whenever he jumps into something. So, yeah, use your own research. Anything you hear is all for garbage in, garbage out. Do your own uh, critical thinking, due diligence before you put any money in anything. Yeah, I don't know, man. I made mistakes listening to some of these people. And now I'm very cautious. Uh, at the time, uh, calling Bitcoin still in its early innings. So we're still calling it in an early inning, which is good. So, you know, guys, if you want to invest in Bitcoin, you can simply dollar cost average in to get the uh, highs and lows and kind of flatten that out a bit. And it works with equity stocks and it tends to work okay with crypto. You can do 100 bucks a week or 50 bucks a week or 100 bucks a month, whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever you're willing to lose, invest, especially in this stuff. But even equities, it can all go to zero, too. I mean, I, I bought NVIDIA at 300. It's down to 220. So what do I know, right? I'm an idiot. So there you go. I like to see that Wozniak chimed in. He likes the purity of the mathematics uh, behind Bitcoin, which I agree. Then there's no people shilling it like a Matt Damon or a Kardashian. It's uh, when you see that crap, guys, please. Don't be an NPC. Don't fall for the, the uh, brainwashing, the, uh, the crap, the, the, the fluff, not stuff. Run, 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 because they're, they're, it's never going to end well for you. You're going to buy into this crap, and it's going to fold, like they said, and disappear, and you're going to be out whatever money you invested. Go with the king. Go with the guy that tr sets, the, sets the pace, sets the trend. Everything follows Bitcoin. Um, hate to say it. And then... The big, the big uh, litmus test is going to be when Ethereum goes to POS, proof of stake, leaving proof of work, and then you lose all the support of the miners. It's it just might, it just might whittle away. With you know, you just don't know. I don't know. That's my guess, but we'll see. All right, that's all I got. What do you guys think? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you looking at? Are you going to buy? Are you dollar cost averaging in? I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of he's in focus here, but he's. That's a bad photo. What the heck are they thinking? <laughs> you think he would have had approval first before taking this photo? Oh, dear God, please. Oh, anyway, all right, I'm out, guys. Take care. Go forth. Two great things.